Garcia is now the first auxiliary bishop of Austin's Roman Catholic Diocese. And to give you some perspective, the diocese has some 127 parishes in 25 counties and an area that stretches from Waco down to San Marcos, then from College Station west to Mason. Joining us this morning is the man himself, Bishop Garcia. Good morning to you. Good morning, Eric. I know we tried to get you earlier in the week, but you've been a busy man. Yes, it has. It's been a very busy week. Yeah, and you've got a big job ahead as we talk about that area right. um, that you will be overseeing. Talk about what this work entails. Well, primarily, um, I am an assistant to Bishop Joe Vasquez, who is mm -hmm. the what we call the ordinary, uh, the primary bishop, if you might say, of the Austin Diocese. Um, so my job is to be his assistant in whatever capacity that he would see me to be able to fulfill. I still continue with the job that I presently have, which is the Vicar General which, and the moderator of the Curia, which means kind of, uh, in a sense, second in command, if you will, in the diocese and also helping to assist in the running of the various departments uh, of our diocese. Mm -hmm. Why now? Why do you think uh, Pope Francis... Uh, decided to make this appointment now because it's the first in a long time. You're right. Well, I think as I think we all know that the population here in Central Texas is exploding. You know, I've been a priest for almost 27 years and I remember when I was first assigned to my first parish at St. Catherine in South Austin, it seemed like you were out in the middle of nowhere. And today if you go south or north, you see how the suburbs are continuing to explode. The population continues to increase. We see more and more Catholics that are moving from the north or the northeast, Midwest, into central Texas. And so because of the population and the need to be able to uh, cover and administrate all various places, I think Pope Francis finally said after Bishop uh, Bosick's request that maybe now is the time to assign an auxiliary bishop. Mm -hmm. And to give us a little background, you're from Cameron, Texas. I am. I'm from... What are some things we may not know about you? Well, I guess, uh, you know, I grew up there in Cameron, uh, went to Catholic school for about five years, and then uh, went into the public school, finished there at Yo High School um, in 1978. I played um, uh, baseball, I guess, from the age of six to the age of 18, mm -hmm. so very active until I went to college and then began to in a sense explore what it was that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Perfect, and uh, we only have just a few seconds left, but um, if you could name just maybe the most pressing issue for Central Texas, you know, how things changed? Well, I, I think one of the things that we as a diocese are doing right now, we have what's called a pastoral plan, kind of a strategic plan that we're trying to uh, envision what are the various strategies that we need to address, and one of the aspects is how do we begin to help people to encounter Christ uh, throughout the, the Central Texas area. Secondly, I think also the increasing number of uh, Hispanic population, that's an, uh, a reality. And then uh, thirdly, I would say, how do we continue to create a culture of vocations so that people begin to encounter the church and encounter Christ and, and in turn become uh, great disciples of the church. All right, Bishop Garcia, it's an honor to have you with us this morning. Thank you so much for spending time here. Thank you very much. And Aaron. good luck in Thank your you. new role.